Often for Māori, access of care starts and begins with acknowledging that when you walk into a system, be it a clinic or a hospital, you feel like you're welcomed into those spaces. Yeah. So we liken it to an arrival onto our marae, for instance. You understand the concept of going through the waharo, yeah. someone's welcoming you, and you feel present in that, and you feel trust because someone looks and responds to similar things that you're used to. And this yeah. won't be the experience for Māori, it'll be the experience for a whole range of different ethnic groups. So for Māori, we want to see a workforce that does reflect that because we know that when Māori are working with Māori, we see greater outcomes. Mm. And that's been proven time and time again. And the Māori workforce is a complicated, um, complicated thing, problem to solve because it doesn't just require, let's just make 3,000 more spaces available. Yeah. Actually, if we're going to put our young people or our older people through that system, then what do we need to have in terms of pastoral care? What do we need to have in terms of financial aid? Uh, we have the highest attrition rate for Māori in often the first year of study or the third year of study, and it becomes, and that's about a financial domain. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're, you know, we literally can't afford to stay in our studies. And if you think about that from a nursing perspective, for instance, nursing is a three-year program, one of our highest, highest attrition rates in the third year. Midwifery, four-year program, highest attrition rate in the third year. Mm. Medical, like nearly six years. We've got to be mindful that if we're going to grow our workforce, and we want, to, we want to be really meaningful and determined about growing that workforce, but we also want to make sure we set them up for success. Okay. By when do we want to see? By when do you want to see that? So immediately. So Im immediately, you'll see initiatives coming out with. Okay. We've already done it with Budget 21-22, yep. and we'll be doing it with Budget 22-23, which is that we'll commission for additional uh, funding to support our young people through those services. You know, you have to start from year one, yep. um, because people who are currently in the system training now, we can't we can't go backward from that. There okay. is many people that are in there. There are as yep. many Māori training right now as you and I speak as there will be. Yep. And we can't fast forward that. Cool. But what you can do is plan out for, as of next year, how many more Māori, and you'll see an increase in the yep. numbers of Māori into those institutions. Nursing workforce, for instance, 7% of that is Māori, right? Um, when I trained as a registered nurse, and that's going back a few decades, um, it was 5% of, yep. ma of nurses were Māori. Mm. We've grown by 2% in nearly 30 years. That's not a great outcome, no. right? So that gives us something to really rise above. Um, and so for me, you know, um, nursing is, is a great example of where yeah. we can put more. And it's not just nursing. So again, if we look to the models of care that we want to see developed, um, our kaimanaki workforce who were a major contributor during the COVID campaign, when you think about the hundreds of mm -hmm. kaimanaki that stood up, we got them to vaccinate, we got them to PCR test. Yeah. These are tasks that traditionally had always been done by a registered or yeah. regulated workforce. So if we ask ourselves what more could mm -hmm. we get an unregulated workforce to do, yeah. that takes the pressure off a system that is really under the pump at the minute. Putting a time frame on that, right? So this... this Kaimanaki? Um, on workforce in general being representative of the there population. There are different timelines. Tef different timelines? So not in the next 10 years or...? Well, you'll see, for instance, if nursing takes three years to get a, a registered okay. professional out of it, um, then you're going to see a much bigger okay. base cool. in a quicker time. All right. But for our doctors, it will take, take a little longer. longer. Okay. Um, and then for midwives, it'll take a little longer. Yeah. And allied health is five years. So we have these kind of different areas. But again, look to the model of care that says, actually, there is a bigger workforce here that we can yeah. have. Because if we have a kaimanaki workforce, it's often a great gateway into the other clinical streams oh. as well.